Okay, I don't care what fitness level you're at, you need to work out. Wouldn't That's you right. agree? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> All right, Clarence Ferguson, personal fitness trainer, certified. We're going to show you a beginner's workout. It's a 10-minute workout that you can do that will get your whole body, right? Correct. Your whole heart body. pumping. Absolutely. Okay. All right, first things first, go ahead and get on your knees, hands about shoulder width apart. She's going to do a push-up first. Go ahead and about 90 degrees, back up. Why don't you do 15 of those? Show them how quick this can take. And I'm timing, too. See what we get. <laughs> okay. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Okay, we got some handy water bottles or gallons of water you have at your home, most likely. She's going to do a bent over row. So about 90 degrees, keep a slight bend in your knees. She's going to try to make sure her back's nice and neutral and row. This is going to work everything on the back side of her upper body. Shoulder blades, <clears throat> keep the back nice and tight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Okay, why don't you come on over to the couch. She's going to do a basic squat. We're going to give her a little something to touch and feel there. So go ahead and turn around. Oh, yeah. Okay. And she's going to squat until she feels her butt touch the couch and back up. 15 of those. Two. Three, four, and you want to do these right after one right after another, right? That's correct. You notice how we're just going from exercise. We're not wasting any time. She's only got ten minutes. Right. The baby's gonna be up I in a second. She's got to be ready to go. Get her workout in. I think in. this is fifteen. Feels like fifteen. Yeah, exactly. Okay, fifteen. Exactly. And one, we got. We can't forget our abs. One last thing. Just do some abs. Let's go on the okay. floor. Throw the abs in. Everybody wants those tight abs. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just do a basic crunch. Go ahead and bring yourself up. She's trying to lift her shoulder blades off the ground, working all the midsection there. Work all that holiday food off. What about last night? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. They get the idea. Go ahead and come up on your feet. We're going to throw in a quick cardio component. So I'm going to have you do a modified jumping jack for our beginner. So I want you to do this. Go oh. ahead and bring your hands together. And you're just going to do this. Yep. She's going to do that for 100, and that's going to give her the cardio component. Her whole entire body's moving. She's burning calories. And that's a basic workout. She's going to repeat this four times. No rest in between. All right. So I do 100 of these. Yep. And I'm down on the ground uh -huh. doing push-ups again. Yep. And she's back doing push-ups, keeping the heart rate going, keeping the calories burning. All right. Obviously, if you need to take a break, stop and take a breather. Try to keep it between 35, 45 seconds and keep moving. All right. Okay. So you do that whole routine. Let's do that four times. Do it through four times for 10 minutes, and you will have just given your whole body a workout, including some cardio and, you some know what? Some good strength resistance. That's right. That's right. Body weight. No equipment needed other than two water bottles, which you probably have in your home anyway. All right. And then when you get really good at that, I have an advanced workout coming up for you. And I'm not holding this water bottle because I'm thirsty. It's actually going to be the tool, right? That's right. Correct. Most of you guys have a gallon of water or even a liter bottle of water in your house. So I'm going to have you do the first exercise, okay? Okay. All I right. want you to go ahead and just bring your arm up right over your head and mm -hmm. just kind of slowly descend and then bring it back up. Now I want you to squeeze at the top. You really got to start thinking about integrating that muscle with your mind. Don't just go through the motion. Really make sure you squeeze and hold it. Be the muscle. That's right. That muscle mind connection. Okay. Now, for some people who may have a shoulder injury, maybe mm -hmm. carrying the baby, that really bugs them. We're going to switch to the next one that's more convenient for them. Okay? Okay. So I want you to just kind of bend about 90 degrees. And I want you to just from there, just extend your arm. There you go. This is a great tool. Now you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of dumbbells. That's correct. Just a water bottle. If you have back issues, this is a better way to go. You can put your hand on the counter, a chair, broomstick handle, all things you can find in your home. And if you get thirsty, you have, have a water a bottle water right there. Right <laughs> okay. Okay let's, okay, let's say that's too much. So I want you to go ahead and go on the floor. Let's say somebody can't handle it. Their back is really bad or maybe they've got some issues where they can't okay. hold that position. I'm going to go ahead and have you go ahead and lay down prone. On my back. On your back. Okay. That's Come correct. Down I'm coming with down with you. Go ahead and grab that water. Now we're going to use a two-hand approach to this. So you're going to take that same water and push it up towards the sky. You keep your Key elbows? keep your elbows fixed towards the sky. So there, oh. and then just bend up towards the sky. Yeah. Oh, Bring I them see. a little bit closer there. There we go. Oh, okay. gotcha. So it's very something you can do. Obviously, if that gets easier, you can grab something heavier. 
maybe your baby, maybe you want to rock her to sleep or something, that's always a good one. Basketball, whatever you can find, this can be some resistance for you. Okay, excellent. You can also use a towel, have someone hold it for you. Maybe the husband, kids, hold it for you. They like tug of war. Or dog. The dog. <laughs> Great tug of war. She's not much of anything right now. <laughs> and okay, then for last some of you who are a little more advanced, you know, may need a little more of a challenge. We're going to use your own body weight. This exercise is called a bench dip. It primarily works tricep, shoulders, and some of the chest muscles. And what she's going to do is just like that. You're going to go towards the floor and push yourself up. Now, the key is to really think about using your arms and not so much the momentum of the legs. So really think about pushing through the couch like you're going to push that couch through the floor, and that'll get you up. Excellent. All Hold right. it at the top for a second. There you go. That gets too easy. She can put her feet up on a chair, an ottoman, whatever the case may be. Make it harder. Excellent. So how many reps of each one? Same thing. We're going to go with three sets of 15. Keep it real simple for a beginner. If you're a little more advanced, instead of changing the reps, add some resistance to yourself. Excellent. Child right. on the lap, books, you know, a couple gallons of water, whatever you need. Make right. It harder. Potato chip bag does not <laughs> yeah. count. Okay. All right. So you combine this with a couple of the other exercises that we've showed you and you'll work out your whole body in no time. You're going to show us the advanced routine. Now, there's also on um, a routine that is for beginners and that you should, if you've never done this before, you should start there and then work your way up to this Correct. one. Correct. Okay. What so are we we're basically going to incorporate some a cardio component into the resistance training at the same time. First one you do, go ahead and do a basic squat. Take your feet shoulder width apart. And you're going to go about 90 degrees. Yep, 15 of those. Come on. Three. Four. Eight. No. <laughs> I, I lost count. That's okay. You're at seven. When you lose count, you go back to eight, seven. Nine. Nine. Ten. ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay, you guys get the idea. And I want you to go into a dynamic lunge. One foot out. Boom. And then back. Mm -hmm. Alternating feet. Yep, alternating feet. Don't She's stop She's got her between. heart rate going. And she is moving. Don't stop in between exercise. Just keep on going. So we're doing on 15 on each leg, right? Basically, yep. So she's going to count to 30 to get to this 15. This is going to keep her heart rate going. <clears throat> okay, let's pretend that's 30. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Okay, go ahead and grab your water bottles. We're going to go into a back exercise. So I want you to go ahead and bring your arms out to the side. This is a reverse fly. It works that back of the arm, that teacher arm we talked about earlier, keeping everything nice and tight. Okay, let's pretend she's at 15. Go ahead and go to the row. We're going to right into that row. Still working that back. Now, while she's doing this, she wants to be keeping in mind, keeping her core nice and tight, not letting the belly drop. Bring that belly in. Focus, focus, focus. Shoulder blades are coming together. Very good. Okay. She's at 15, doing really good. Go ahead and go down into your push-up position. Last time we did the push-up, she was on her knees, but we're in the advanced segment, so now she's on her feet. And she's going to 90 degrees. She's keeping her back straight, abs tight, and she is cranking them out. Very good. She can count out names, 1,001, one red, two red, three red, whatever you do to keep you moving. 10. <laughs> 11. 12. 13. 14. Okay, from there, I want you to go into a burpee. She's going to jump up, try to jump high as she can, boom, back down that push-up position. That's the cardio component of the exercise. She is doing very good. 15 of those. This is the hard part. All right, give her a break. That's one set. She's got to repeat that four times. That'll get your heart rate going, but we forgot our abs. So go ahead and flip over and one last thing. <laughs> One last thing. We're going to throw okay. that in last. Okay. You could actually do this after when you've done the four sets. Okay, let's make those crunches a little more advanced. Once you lift your hips up, remember the hip extension? No. Feet on the ground. Lift your hips towards the sky. Oh. Up. Mm -hmm. Oh, my hands there this There you go. Uh-huh. We're going to do a quick little circuit. Let's pretend she did 15 of those. Now, hands under the hips. Leg lifts. Feet out. Yep. Down and up. She's getting every angle of her abs. Mm-hmm. All right, you're at 15. Let's just say bring the feet up, hands behind your head, reaching up for the toes. Imaginary, now she's got her entire abs. And she would repeat that three times. That's a full body workout. Notice the 400. breath. 400. <laughs> Notice the breath. She's got a cardio component, a strength component, and that's how you work out in 10 minutes advance. Ah, Good job. Thank you. Now, the whole idea is to not stop in between exercises. That's right. Do it for 10 minutes. You will get a good cardio workout. You'll get a good full body workout. That's correct. And you don't even have to leave your family room. That's right. Ten minutes. You've got everything done. Ten minutes. Thanks, buddy. All right.